is still hungry. Uh, I'm a retiree, uh, but still uh, enjoying working as a writer, as an amateur photographer. Uh, and and the, what film, what a photogra photograph can do, uh, you know, was, was fascinating. As a young man, of course, you know, we would try to get a camera, try to play with a camera. Uh, yeah, naturally, you know, in the beginning, it would be taking scenery, taking pictures of friends, family members, and so on. From there, actually, you know, it could grow and grow uh, to become uh, something that one could do as an expression, you know, as time went on. And also um, very much active uh, in the art circle, helping people out in organizing art exhibitions, writing about them, and so on. Uh, picking up photography was kind of very natural. Uh, you know, when we were young, when I was young, uh, it, it, uh, the idea of taking photographs fascinated me. Yeah, looking at photographs also fascinated me. Uh, it, I'm sure, you know, when one uh, thinks that uh, what one can do with a camera, even back then with the use of film rather than being, you know, the camera being digital. I try to be as natural as possible. I don't set out to, you know, to exotic places to look for uh, fantastic landscapes and so on. Uh, I just uh, usually bring my camera along uh, on on my travel, uh, hoping to catch uh, by chance any. Uh, any shots, any landscapes, or any uh, scenes that uh, might be of interest to me. Uh, as you can see in this exhibition, there are a lot of shots that were taken while uh, I was I was on the on the go. Uh, I, I I would not, uh, for example, uh, camp at a place and and wait for the sunrise <laughs> and sunset or or whatever. Uh, yeah, there. For example, there, there's a shot of Burbudur at sunrise. You know, we, uh, my family and I actually uh, went up to Burbudur very early in the morning just to look at the sunrise. So while there, you know, with my camera, I was able to capture the sunrise. I see, you know, some pictures of the sunrise. Um, so what I do is. To, to quite natural and also incidental, without trying too hard to go out and look for special uh, shots, special landscapes and so on. What catches my attention, for example, what I do uh, very often, I, I will take uh, my, uh, do my morning exercise at, in, in East Coast Park, for example, near where I live. Uh, I have many shots of East Coast Park in this exhibition. Uh, I, I, will, I would bring my camera with me, so you know I would take advantage of the morning sun when it hits the, the wood, it hits the, you know, the, the joggers, you know, the bicycles, the cyclists and so on. So this, this, struck, this usually strikes me, strikes me as, as uh, very in, interesting visually. So, with my camera ready, I would, uh, you know, try to capture this moment. Yeah. So, so it's a, it, it's something that I I I do uh, quite naturally without trying too hard. You know, I I, I don't go out and really uh, set up or seek, set out to uh, capture particular moments or particular shots. Yeah, photography helps us to um, helps me at least to observe things, to uh, observe closely, 
to analyze while observing, you know, uh, it, it very much in the same way as I look at painting, you know, art, and so on. So, uh, you know, very often you, when you observe, you analyze the lighting, the lines, you know, the forms, uh, you know, the, 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 the composition, and so on. So, uh, these are elements that make a painting, and these are the same elements that could make a good photograph to me. So, I try to do that, and, uh, you know, somehow all these things that, uh, all the experience of looking at paintings, at art, and so on, uh, provides me with uh, plenty of inspiration when I look at any scene. You know, I once watched a video about um, a writer uh, who talks about the art of traveling. Yeah, and he makes a point that a lot of people who uh, who travel uh, take pictures, take pictures to keep their memories of the places they have been. Uh, in the end, uh, they, they probably would not remember what they have seen apart from the pictures they have taken. Meaning that while they are there, they are only busy taking photographs without actually observing, without actually looking at the scene properly. Uh, I find that very interesting because while I take pictures, while I travel and take pictures, I actually observe um, closely first, yeah, uh, and analyze before I actually take those photographs. So uh, I find that uh, I, I find this uh, this idea uh, put forward by this writer very interesting because uh, while I agree that a lot of people do that <laughs> when they travel, they they they're too busy taking photographs yeah. and they actually miss out on. Uh, enjoying, appreciating the, 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 the actual scene. I think the most important thing uh, that one can learn from uh, photography, taking photographs, uh, at least the way I do, uh, is to be very uh, sensitive and alert to an environment, yeah, uh, the environment, whatever we see, can make us think uh, about, you know, about uh, about life, about uh, why people carry out certain activities, why things happen the way they do, uh, and and it's uh, it's great that we are able to actually use a camera uh, while observing this and capture these moments and these activities and this, uh, this uh, aspect of life that we, we actually get to observe. Uh, besides, uh, taking photographs also enables me to realize that, um, you know, life and beauty is all around us. If, only care, if, if we only care to look, we only care to observe, we only care to uh, to pay attention to to them closely enough. I hope that works. <laughs>